sisters, my brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, a few years ago, I was celebrating uh, Holy Week services in uh, Rhode Island. I've been there for about 35 years, and there was a woman and her husband who came regularly. Her name was Jeanette, a very attractive woman. And Jeanette um, got terminal cancer and went through um, years of uh, chemotherapy and uh, treatments and radiation, and her body was ravaged. And she came up to uh, have her feet washed during the Holy Thursday service. And she uh, looked at me, and while I was doing her feet, and she said, oh, Bob, she said, I used to be pretty. And I don't know where it came. It, it wasn't me, because I'm not that smart. <laughs> it, something came out of me, and I said to her, Jeanette, yeah, but now, now you're beautiful. You know, I guess any one of us can look at ourselves in that way. You know, diminishment or damaged goods or weak or broken. I used to be pretty. I wonder about this uh, woman of Samaria. We don't, we don't even know her name. All we know about her is that she's had five marriages and she's living with a guy now. And coming in the heat of the day, because she can't come in the morning with the other women because she's an outcast, she's a Samaritan, and carrying this bucket on her shoulders, but maybe carrying so much more. She's really weighed down damaged goods. I, I used to be pretty. And what about us? You know, are there some times in our lives when we are weighed down by things, you know, bruised or broken or wounded or damaged or sinful? Maybe we don't feel pretty anymore. And Jesus invites us into that thirst so he can tell us everything we've ever done and that in the brokenness um, we'll find the beauty. As I've told you, I, I work in a palliative care end-of-life hospital in, in the Bronx named Calvary, and I went to see a woman the other day. Obviously, I can't say who she is. And uh, she said, uh, she's about 90 years old, patient. And she said, my mother came to visit me last night. I said, oh, she did. I, I said, what did she look like? She said, oh, she was really beautiful. I said, what did she say to you? And she said, she told me not to be afraid. And I said, are you afraid? She said, not anymore. I said, how do you feel now? She said, I feel safe. You know, maybe in Lent, um, we bring the sins, the damages, the wounds, the veiled relationships, the unprettiness of ourselves. But maybe also to listen. He told me everything I've ever done. And then he told me I was beautiful. And then he told me I was safe. As we pause at our Lenten well in the presence